Hello and welcome to IOI Malmö. I'm Ivo, I'm a sound designer here and uh, I've been working here for a year and a half and today I will be showing you what it is like to be an Ionian here in Malmö. Welcome. So basically coming to Malmö was like an easy choice because in Europe it's like one of the central hubs that is like growing when it comes to game developers, right? You have a lot of talented studios that are uh, being established here since the last five to ten years and it's like you come to a place where you actually find people that have a common desire and uh, just make fun games. Uh, I'm Joshua Smith, I'm the lead sound designer on a new unannounced project at IOI. Um, I've been working in games for 13 years um, and I've only been here in Sweden for a couple of months now and uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. I like Malmö because it's not a big city, but it's very dense. Uh, when you're going around, there's something everywhere. You can get around anywhere in 15-20 minutes on a bike. You don't need a car. Everything's available. You have all of these little microcosms of stuff spread throughout the city. So even still, you know, um, my partner and I will be walking around and we'll take the dogs for a walk and we turn a corner and we're like, what is this place? What is this restaurant? It's like this is around the corner from us. We haven't even seen it yet. Um, and I feel like that just keeps happening throughout the city. So it's really nice. It's small. And but every day you find something new that you didn't notice before. So friendly, like um, it feels like everyone wants to you to feel at home and um, especially here in the team like we, we have people coming from all over the world right and um, everyone brings like their own small thing and that's great because everyone's different and we should celebrate that and I love that like um, I used to be very um, self-conscious of my accent but here I, I just I'm just proud of it <laughs> you know that everyone has their own way of saying th things and um, yeah, I mean, everyone's a friend here and a colleague, so yeah, it's just natural to go out and have fun with them. I'm Garima, like I'm from India, so I arrived in Sweden on 31st of July and I joined office on 2nd of August. So uh, basically, uh, I'm from like uh, Lux Digital, it's a keyword studio, like it's an outsourcing studio. So um, basically last week was like fun for me. Because I just, I just joined, I was just meeting people uh, in the office and they were really helpful and really approachable people. So <laughs> we had fun, so we went to play football as well. <laughs> a lot of people always ask me, why did you go from being an artist to being a producer? And the thing was, like when you're working as an artist, you, like, you work on your own stuff, you get to see what you are doing but like that's the only thing that you actually get to influence. So moving over to a production role, I was able to oversee the whole project, see the whole thing, how everything is being developed. So that was like a big thing for me. And then like uh, coming over here to Malmo was, uh, I mean, so far it's been a great experience. Uh, the reason I decided to come back to Sweden was uh, since I used to live here before, I just fell in love with the Scandinavian culture the whole work-life balance. I always really appreciate it over here. I mean, I really enjoy being able to have some time after work. I mean, one thing that happened when I moved, first moved to Stockholm was like around 6 p.m. people were heading home. And me being used from Mexico, like for me leaving early was around 8, 9 p.m. So suddenly I, I can go home by 6 and I was like, what do I do with all this time? It's like, it's too much. So that's something that was really important to me, to be able to have like a life outside of work. And then of course, being able to work on the 007 project. It seems like the Swedish culture is uh, very entrepreneurial in a way. There's lots of very small businesses. There's a lot of these small restaurants that have six seats and they do one thing really well. And um, I kind of, I enjoy that because it, it allows you to have a lot of new experiences in a small space. And then if you need to go to the big city, you can go to Copenhagen easily, just hop on the train, go right across. Um, we've also been up to Stockholm, not that far, you know, so if you need to get that big city experience, you can do that really quickly. And then also just where you're at in Europe, it's very easy to get to lots of places. 